that's on. Put it to the off position, that's on. Off. Then you've got to find out which cables you need, are your cables. On this one, it's the brown wire there and this brown and white wire here. Basically, this thermostat just interrupts the uh, the main incoming mains down to your, and then down to your compressor. It's basically just an on and off switch, but controlled by the heat or the cold. Right, get your multimeter. Set it to ohms and continuity. So that's ohms. And I have to press this button to get the buzzer on. Test it. Yep. That's one wire to the. Uh, well, don't matter which one, you just connect to which. Connect one to one. If you need to find out the wire of yours, You'll have to look at the model number or look at the spec sheet for your thermostat. So I'm doing this one handed really hard. So that's one on. Get the second one on. So there you go. It should turn on and buzz and have a very low ohm reading. If you're getting a higher reading than that, then there's something wrong internally, you've got resistance. Well, that's it basically. On, off. Obviously the higher you turn that, the, the more it allows the fridge to stay, the compressor to stay on to cool the fridge. So that's just really controlled inside. And basically it's just an on and off switch you're testing there. So off. No power going to the compressor, on power should go to the compressor now. So this is a perfectly good working thermostat. Now I've just got to put it all back together again. But pretty easy to do. Okay, so I'm going to do a quick test on this NTC thermistor temperature sensor. This is what electronic boards use to uh, Detect the temperature inside the fridge cavity or the defrost heater, things like that. So basically there are only two wire, really simple. I'll find it easy to go in the back. So it's both probed and it's reading 5.6 kilo ohms. Now if you want to do another test, we can check that against your manufacturer's specs at room temperature. But if you hold it as well, you'll notice that the... Uh, Resistance falls pretty quickly. So that's it, really. That's a good test. When you let it go, it should start to cool and the resistance rise again. Yep, yeah, rising. So that's it.